All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more Hearthstone, and we're doing more of Dr. Boom's The Boom's Day Project Puzzle Lab. We're in the last half of this last wing, Survival. Remember, the, the point of the Survival Wing is to be able to survive the next attack. You're going you're gonna to need to be at full health. Let's get, let's get started with the third challenge. I see you survived Flock's Lab. Come. There is real work to be done. All right. Let's do this. With Glowtron 2000. Alright, again, the point is to survive the hero's or the boss's hero power. It's gonna deal 29 damage. Initialize. Testing protocol 3C. Systems booting. Alright. This is gonna be hell. Let's take a look at our boy, the turret sentinel. It's a 4-8 mech. That reads, after your opponent plays a minion, attack it, and death rattle, refresh all mana crystals. That's on Glowtron 2000's side. On our side, we have the Microbody 1-1 mech, and we have Prophet Velen, a 7-7 that reads, double the damage and healing of your spells and hero power. So, while Velen's in play, any spell or hero power that we have that will deal damage, it will deal double instead. And anything that would heal, it would heal double instead good to know because we're priest we have one health and our hero power says restore four health normally it's two but because we have Velen in play it's gonna be four no cards in either of our decks interpreting uh our hand from left to right we have spirit lash again uh Velen's doubling everything so spirit lash is normally light steel deal one damage to all minions but it's gonna deal two uh we have the elixir of life which is gonna give a minion plus two plus two and life steal we have the Replicating Menace, a 3-1 Magnetic Mech with Death Rattle, summon 3-1-1 three micro, three one one Microbots, excuse me. Then we have another copy of that. And we have two copies of Holy Nova. Uh, normally it's deal 2 damage to all enemies and restore 2 health to all friendly characters, but it's going to deal 4 and heal 4. Uh, and then we have Just a Car, True Heart, a 6-3 with Battle Cry, replace your starting hero power with a better one. Uh, normally it means that you get to choose something or it does twice as much. Uh, for us, it's going to actually double Charging our laser. it's going to double our lesser heal into a regular heal. So normally it will restore four, but with Velen in play, it'll restore eight. Okay. Again, if we kill this thing, uh, we'll get all of our mana back, which looks like we actually might need to do that. We might need to do that. Let's see. The microbot can attack this turn. So if we drop a replicating menace, it's going to uh, fuse with this or merge with this. What's the term they say? Yeah, fuse with this and become a 4-2. Which actually might be what we need. If we play a if we play this here. Yeah, if we play this on the microbot. It'll it'll fuse. This will die and create three microbots. So then we can uh, scanning for solutions. We can put the replicating menace on one of the new microbots. It'll attack that, and we'll get all of our all of our uh, all of our mana back. But then we'll still have two mana left. So let's spend that before we go ahead and do it. Let's use lesser heal once. So now if we play replicating menace here, it's gonna be a four two. He's gonna attack and kill it. Oh, no, he won't. I am a clown. I am a clown. Okay, that's fine. We can attack ourselves. No problem there. Now, let's see. If I, if I fuse these two, he's not going to be able to attack. They're not going to be able to attack. Uh, Spirit Lash. Maybe I should have... See, that was a 4-2. If I would have given it the Elixir of Life, it would have been a 6. 
but then I wouldn't be able to play Spirit Lash. Interesting. This one's this was this was not as as facey as I thought it would be. If I play this just to the side so they don't fuse, he's gonna have one health, and that's not gonna be enough to do anything. So we're gonna have to restart. Yep. Restoring snapshot. But I do need to play this so that he attacks. So maybe if we don't fuse them together. He attacks. He attacks. I have the three extra microbots. He's at five health. If I do that again, he's at two health. How many would I get? I have five means of play. I'm only going to get two. What if instead I give him this, the elixir? He can damage him to two, and then I can drop Spirit Lash. Let's try that. Come on. There we go. So that's going to heal me for three as well. Now, if I play Spirit Lash, it's going to deal two damage to all minions. And it's also going to heal me for, what, ten? Because I'm, I'm dealing damage to five minions. Two damage to five. Ah, and then because of Velen, it doubled it. So it really helped, healed me for 20. I got all my mana back because the thing died. So I just need to find five mana. I'm sorry, five, uh, sorry, six health. So I guess I could just go ahead and drop both Holy Novas, huh? I could just go ahead and drop both Holy Novas. Or I could be classic with it. And I could play uh, Jessica Trueheart. He's going to upgrade that to heal. And then we'll just heal. But I could have dropped both Holy Novas. That would have been fine, too. Oh, he's got a whole laser. Okay. Recharging laser. Please stand still. All right, Glowtron side of the field. Once again, a turret sentinel. A 4 8 mech with after your opponent plays a minion, attack it, and then death rattle. Refresh all metal crystals. Our side, we have two rusty recyclers. Uh, they are two sixes, two six mechs with taunt and lifesteal, but they're both on the side of a flame tongue totem, a uh, zero three totem that says adjacent minions have two attack. So they're both four sixes. Uh, we are shaman and with one health. Our ability is summon a random totem. We can't use it. And then neither of us have cards in our deck. My hand from left to right, earth and might give a minion plus two plus two. If it's an elemental, add a random elemental to your hand. Rock by the weapon. Give a friendly, give a friendly character plus three attack this turn. Uh, vicious scale hide a one three beast with life steal and rush. We have healing wave. Restore seven health. Reveal a minion in each deck if yours costs more. Restore fourteen instead. Genu water speaker a three six with battle cry. Restore six health and overload one. And then we have wide eyes a five five with taunt and death rattle. Shuffle the storm guardian into your deck. The Storm Guardian, if I'm not mistaken, is a 10-10. I think it costs 10. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Okay, so we need to manipulate him to kill White Eyes so we get the Storm Guardian. And then Healing Wave actually heals for 14, if I'm not mistaken. If, if, if the opponent doesn't have a minion in their deck, and we do, it counts. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Charging laser. Okay, so we can give... We can give... The turret sentinel, earth and might, and he'll be able to kill white eyes when we play him. My life is your Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. Oh, it costs five. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if I was supposed to play him here so that he has less health. I'm not sure. We're going to find out if I goofed or not. Let's play. Ooh. Yeah, let's play healing wave. We can reveal he can't, so we're greater. We're going to get 14 health, so we're at 15. Okay. If we attack now, we will get all of uh, – this will heal for four. 
and we'll get all of our mana crystals back. So we can do other stuff. I don't know, though. I think maybe I should have attacked first. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. If I put him to actually, I probably should have attacked with both of them first, then play, then play. Uh, uh, what's his face? Then play wide eyes, because they would, they would both survive. I'm sorry, these would both die, but he would survive both attacks. He would have been at ten. He'd be at two, and then he would have killed wide eyes, and wide eyes would have killed him. I think I should have attacked with both first. Because now I can only attack with one. Damn, I was so close. Actually, this having rush, should I have attacked with this too? I probably should have attacked with this clown too. Yeah, I should have. I should have. I should have attacked with everybody. <laughs> okay. Three BT two, reverting to backup. Okay, let's try that a different way. Uh, Earth and Might here still. We attack with both of these, so that's four. There's four more, so now we're at nine health. If I play him, actually, I don't even have to worry about attacking. He's going to hit him. All right. Oh, no, he killed him. Damn it. I need to play it very first. I, that needed to be the absolute first thing I played. It needed to be on the sides, on the other sides of the, the mechs. Okay. Okay. Got it. Let's play this here. So it only deals one point of damage. What happened was it got a bonus from the totem because I played it to the side and then it killed him. So that's one point there. We're at two health. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Earth and Might. Uh... Attack here. So now we're at six health. Now we're at ten. Uh, where would this be going? Where do I need the friendly three from? Because nothing else is gonna heal us. Maybe I don't need it at all. Here's white eyes. My life is your Okay, we play Jinyu. We heal the 16, and then this is going to give us 14. There we go. Got it. Got it. Mmm. All right, Glowtron side of the field. From left to right, we have another turret sentinel, a 4 8 that reads After your opponent plays a minion, attack it, death rattle, refresh all mana crystals. Then we have the Abomination, a 4 4 with taunt and death rattle, deal 2 damage to all characters. Ooh, so we got to be careful about when we hit that. If we take damage, we lose. Uh, then we have an explosive sheep, a 1 1 with death rattle, deal 2 damage to all minions. Then the Corrupted Heal Bot, a 6-6 six, six with Death Rattle, restore 8 health to the enemy hero. Our side of the board, my favorite, the Alcanai Soul Priest, a 3-5 with your cards and powers that restore health, now deal damage instead. Then we have the Mistress of Mixtures, a 2-2 two, two with Death Rattle, restore 4 health to each hero. Converting to solar energy. And then we have Tournament Medic, a 1-8 with Inspire, restore 2 health to your hero. Inspire cares about you using your hero power when you use your hero power inspire goes off uh we are a priest with one health and our hero power is restore to health our side of the board oh because we have all can i soul priest i was actually going to deal two damage but when that's gone this will heal our cards from left to right uh we have breakout give your minions charge circle of healing restore four health to all minions binding heal restore five health to a minion and your hero uh, Lie of the Nairu, restore three health if your target is still damaged. Summon a Light Warden. Earth and Ring Farseer, a 3-3 three, three with Battle Cry, restore three health. And Elixir of Life, give a minion plus two, plus two, and lifesteal. 
Rising scenario. Cards and powers. Okay. So all of these that say gain life or restore health, these actually deal damage as long as she is in play. Got to keep that in mind. First thing we need, we probably need to do then is get rid of the soul priest. First thing we probably need to do is get rid of the soul priest because we're not, we're not gaining anything. As long as this is out and the soul priest is out, we need to get rid of the soul priest. Uh, let's see. I think the easiest way to do that is the far seer and then the healer, or they use our hero ability. Both of those targeting the soul priest. He's dead. And then we could take everything else out pretty easily. Actually, we can hit her. Who no. If we play this on her, it's actually going to kill us. It's not going to heal her. It's going to happen at the same time. So it's going to deal damage to her and deal damage to us. Okay. Let's, uh, I think that's it. Farseer to, to Soul Priest. Ooh, he's going to attack. I forgot. Okay, and then lesser heal here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was close. If I would have did this first, I would have lost. <laughs> I forgot he was there. Tournament Medic's one of, my, one of my favorite cards. I forgot he was there. Okay. So now we need to, we need to get to 30. Now we need to get to 30. That could be that could be arranged. This is going to deal two damage to everybody. So let's see. What if I hit Oh, she can't attack. None of them can attack right now. Okay. That's what this is for. I guess I can go ahead and ooh. When's the right time to play Light of the Nairu? It restores 3 health and if the target's still damaged, it summons a Light Ward. Which gets bigger as you heal. So let's go ahead and drop that on us. Since we're still damaged, we'll get a Light Warden. Now's the perfect time to play Breakout because there's no way for us to get more minions. Okay. What damage to all minions? Okay. Or four, restore four health to all minions. Okay. If I hit... Shoot, she's going to die. I was going to say, if I hit... This with the elixir and attack, every, that's going to die. That'll die. That'll deal one damage, two damage to everybody. So that's a total of four damage. Yo, this one's messy. I don't like this one. This one's not fun. <laughs> this one's not fun. Here we go. So now we're going to heal for four, but this is going to deal two damage. So we're only going to heal for two. Okay. Yo, I don't like this puzzle. This one is not fun. We're actually out of stuff. I was gonna say I could kill him. I could kill him and get uh get all my mana, but we're out of stuff to do. Fine, I won. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy, I like him. Yeah, we're out of stuff to do. I've never run out of stuff to do, you know? Unplugging and replugging. I've run out of stuff to pay to do stuff, but I've never run out of stuff to do. Okay. Two damage all around. If this is still out, this is going to kill us. I don't know. I don't know where to go for this one. This one's messy. I'm not sure where to begin. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. What if we start with the Light Warden? Three damage where? Because if we can heal this thing up and keep it... Actually, let's not. Let's get rid of these two clowns first. Then we'll Light Warden. Scanning for solutions. Man. Okay. Um. What? It, wait, 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 wait. I can keep it alive with the elixir. Okay. I keep it alive with elixir. So let's. 
Instead of using this for three, because we, we need this to, oh, we don't need this to attack. Well, maybe we need it to attack the Sentinel. Yeah. Okay. We'll go light, light in our room here, and then our, our hero power. No, not our hero power. Let's keep this alive because things are going to get ugly soon. Uh, elixir. Because that's how we're going to heal. That's how we're going to heal up. There's, there's, there's really no other way these clowns are going to heal us. This is how we're going to heal up. We need to get this as big as possible. So if you attack here. If you attack here. You're dead. And I can start wiping stuff out, right? Yeah, if you're dead, I can start killing things. Uh, charge. Here we go. Ah, we're not supposed to kill this cloud, are we? We're not supposed to kill him because if we, if he dies right now, he's going to kill the Light Warden. So we don't kill him, at least not right now. Okay. What we need to do is heal everything. We need to heal everything. Okay. So let's heal here. And he's going to heal, which is perfect. He's going to heal me, which is perfect because he's going to link there. Okay. Uh, is it time now for this? If I heal me with this, if I heal me, I go to six. This goes to, um, it goes up what, two? This goes to nine. This attacks this. This dies. That's at five health. I can then attack here and drop circle of healing, right? But yeah, I like that so far. To solar energy. I like that so far. If I attack here. If he wands here, what happens? What happens if he wands here? Nothing. Die. Nothing I dies. Want. Okay. So now me playing Circle of Healing is going to heal one, two, and three. That's six more points for the Light Warden. She's at uh, 15. She's at 15. She's at 15. This dies. I get four health. So I go to 10. And she goes, let's see, from 15 to 17. So that's 27. I just need three points. And there it is. <laughs> is that? No, no, that's not it. Not this one. Shoot. What's wrong? Hey, God. If this dies... This dies too. Something's not right. Something's not right. I do this. That's what it is. Okay. I heal everybody. I heal all the minions. That gets bigger. Now I can attack. It's not going to kill the abomination, but she's going to die, which is what I need. I go to 10. She goes to 17. I attack here. Ooh, no. No. Oh, yes, I take two. Okay. This attacks here, I go to 27, but this is going to deal two damage to me, so I'm at 25, and then this is a perfect game. Damn! Oh, select a minion. Okay. Fine. I'll heal. Here you go. Yeah! <laughs> Look at this game. Look at this game. 
All right. All right. Online. Holding. All right, Glowtron side of the board. There are two turret sentinels. Again, a 4-8 mech that reads, after your opponent plays a minion, attack it, and death rattle, refresh all mana crystals. Our side of the board, empty. We're a shaman with one health, and our hero ability has been used. It's summon a random totem. Uh, no cards in either of our decks. In my hand, from left to right, I have one copy of Ancestral Spirit. A, it's, a, it's a spell that says give a minion death rattle. Resummon this minion. Then we have Burlock, a 2-2 Murloc that reads Battle Cry, Freeze an Enemy. Murmuring Elemental, a 1-1 that reads Battle Cry, your Battle Cry. I'm sorry, Battle Cry, your next Battle Cry this turn triggers twice. Reincarnate, destroy a minion, then return it to life with full health. We have Carnivorous Cube, uh, 4 6 that reads Battle Cry, destroy a friendly minion, and Death Rattle, summon two copies of it. We have Halazil the Ascended, a 4 6 that reads Whenever your spells deal damage, restore that much health to your hero. Unbeaker Lightning, uh, deal 8 damage to all minions, and Moat Lurker. Uh, three three that reads battle cry destroy a minion and death rattle resummon it. Okay, so clearly I'm gonna want to abuse Halazil's zeal for dealing damage and healing it. Uh, if I can play Unbeaker Lightning with Halazil in play, that's it. I ain't gotta worry. I ain't gotta worry. So let's see if I can set that up. Interpreting. Uh, remember, when I play a minion, these are gonna attack it. So I guess I could, let's see, they're both going to attack. So they're going to kill Halazil off rip. If I play Murmuring Elemental. Oh, this one's, I want to figure out where to start here. Murmuring Ele Elemental will, will actually does not work with anybody here. It does it. Uh-uh. Murmuring Elemental does not work with anybody. Like, it, it works. They'll trigger twice, but they don't do anything. Destroy a friendly, actually. Yeah, that won't even work. Destroy a friendly is not going to be cool Charging laser. Uh, to double. But I clearly want them to attack this after a friendly has been destroyed. So I just got to figure out what I'm supposed to destroy. I'm seeing Halazil. Question is, how do I get Halazil out so that he doesn't die? I don't think I can play Halazil so he doesn't die. One of these has to die first. And this ain't the right way. <laughs> that ain't the right way. This clearly needs to be played after Halazil is out. It's messy. Charging laser. My question is, attacking it, does that work with this version of Freeze? I don't know that that works. Let's, let's find out. I guess it does. It makes it so it won't attack. Okay. So then now I can play Halazil. And it's not going to die, right? I can play Alizeal, it won't die. I am the darkest night. Um. Oh! Okay, I was going to say, I'm out of mana. <laughs> I'm out of mana, and I was thinking, if I destroy Halazil, it's not going to help me. I need to destroy this one, right? The frozen one? This one being low health is okay. It's okay. That means I can easily kill it. If I do it on this one, and I get all my mana back. All right. Now I can play Carnivorous Cube on Halazil. They're both going to attack it and kill the cube, which means I'll get two Halazils. This one dies when he attacks the cube, 
and I get all my mana back too. So now I can drop Unbeaker Lightning and heal for 24. I'm sorry. Because I'll have two Alazeals, I'll heal for 48. And I that's how I like it. Okay, we learned how to abuse attacking. So now, if, yeah, now if I play this, I heal for 24 twice because I have two. I, there's three minions that's going to take damage. And I have two Alazeals. So three times two times eight. Okay, that plus five came up. I'm like, uh oh, I messed up somewhere. Nah, bruh, I got it. <laughs> that one, I feel like I cheated. I, I I saw the pieces and did the math really quick. Okay, let's go. Glowtron side, uh, once again, turret sentinel, a four eight that reads after your opponent plays a minion, attack it. Death rattle, refresh all mana crystals. Uh, there's also a bronze gatekeeper, a one one mech. I'm sorry, a one five mech that reads magnetic and taunt. On our side, we have the mana addict. Whenever you cast a spell, gain two attack this turn. It's a one three. Then we have primal fin champion, a one two murloc that reads death rattle. Return any spells you cast on this minion to your hand. Okay, so we want to get this big and get it dead. Kinda with it. Uh, we are a paladin with one health. Our hero ability is summon a 1-1 one, one silver hand recruit. And there are no cards. There are no cards in either of our decks. Uh, in hand, I have forbidden healing. Spend all your mana. Restore twice that much health. Then I have blessing of might. Give a minion plus three attack. And Zilliax, magnetic, divine shield, taunt, lifesteal, and rush is a 3-2 mech. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I give him three attack, he's going to be a 4-3. Hmm. If I give him that, he's going to be a... I'm sorry, a 4-2. He's going to be a 4-2, and this is going to get plus two attack. So this would be a 3-3. Three, three. I don't see. Oh. Okay, because this has Divine Shield and Rush. Charging laser. What? Because this is Divine Shield and Rush, we're going to attack this and get our mana back. But why? We can't do nothing. <laughs> we can't do nothing. Man, this one's ugly. What if I... I think instead I need to give him uh, the Blessing of Might. Make him a 5-2. He attacks twice or he deals damage twice. And uh, he, he deals damage twice, and I heal for 10 total. Then we play Forbidden Healing once this is dead. Because this is going to die somehow. <laughs> it's going to die somehow. Oh, no. It's only going to be three first. Okay. Fine. Still fine. Never mind. It's not as fine as I thought it would be. It's not as fine as I thought it would be. How did I goof already? How did I goof already? This doesn't have anything on it. Okay. How did I mess this one up? <laughs> I had told her three cards to play. How did I mess this one up? I think I want to do that, don't I? Nope. Okay, it's fine. Turn any spells you cast on this minion to your hand. Maybe I did want to do that first. Have them attack and then put it on this. I'm the I'm a biggest clown. I'm the biggest clown. I even said that. Command undo resolving. I even said that. Okay. Okay. Let's try it again. From the top. Unity. Precision. Alright, so let's give him this. So now they can both attack here. Nope, he's not dead. Chill, you suck at this. Chill, you suck at this game. <laughs> Fault discovered. Repairing. 
Jill, you suck at this game. Just go ahead and say it. It's okay. Alright. We're gonna put this here. Okay. These two are gonna attack this. Right? Or am I still fucking up? Primitive. Because I need this to die. Ugh, I don't have anyone to attack with. Why am I so bad at this game? I wanted to put this on. Oh, no, I didn't. I wanted to, uh, I suck at this game. I got all the hard puzzles so far. Dumping error logs. I got all the hard puzzles so far, and this is the one that's giving me a problem. What if I I can't put this on her? Because it's not going to do anything. I clearly want to put this on this, right? I clearly want to put Blessing of Might on this thing. I play this. They both attack that, but then this won't be able to attack again, and that's what I need. I feel like that's what I need the most. I don't know why. Unity, precision, perfection. Okay, I clearly want whatever's going to attack this to kill it, very clearly. I also want to have at least 10 health before I play Forbidden Healing. Uh, before this dies, I want to play... Before this dies, I want to have 10 health. I feel like the answer's there. I'm just not looking at it. I feel like the answer's there, and I'm just not looking at it. It's, it's making me mad. Not at anybody but myself, either. That's the thing. I'm mad at me. What the hell am I doing? I don't know why. I don't know why, but this puzzle is 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 outdoing me right now. I don't know why at all. I have no idea why. Error. Three B T two. Reverting to backup. Okay, I play. I play this. This has to be played. Oh, any spells you cast, not just any buffs. I want to hit this with this somehow for some reason. And then I want it to die. Why? I don't. How is it supposed to die? <laughs> How is this supposed to die? Am I supposed to? Am I supposed to buff this? Interpreting. I don't have enough mana. Shit. Okay, this one's got me. This one's got me. Actually, got me. Discovered. Repairing. Okay, so I, I, this is obvious. Play this card. Okay, so if I play this here, this will deal six damage to something and put me at ten. Okay. Now, I want this in my hand for some reason. For some reason, I want this in my hand. But I also want to cast it here. Oh, because then this gets big enough to kill that. Okay, I see it now. 
because it's a spell that's going to be bigger. Yo, this one, this one out. If I ever saw this in the middle of like an actual game of Hearthstone, I would never figure this one out. Never. I would have lost this match. I would have lost this match. So now I attack here. I get back. Um, I get back. What, what's the thing? Uh, uh, a forbidden, forbidden healing. Now I attack here and heal for six. This dies. I'm at uh, I'm at ten mana and ten health. Okay, I never. Oh, I would have lost that match. I I would have lost that match. <laughs> Forty five seconds is not enough time to figure that one out, boy. All right. Diamond clarity, ninety nine point nine three two percent. Flawless. That's a good. That's a good diamond. That's a good diamond. Glowtron side. He has two turret sentinels. The four eight mech that says after your opponent plays a minion, attack it in death rattle. Refresh all mana crystals. We have uh, a one one microbot. It's a cool little mech. We're piled in with one health, and our hero ability is active. Uh, summon a one one silver hammer recruit. There are six cards in our deck, and none in Glowtron. Uh, our hand from left to right. Holy Light, restore six health. Steel Rattler, a one-two mech with magnetic and poisonous. Wicker Flame, burn bristle, a two-two with divine shield, taunt, and life steal. We have Moat Lurker, a three-three that reads battle cry, destroy a minion, and death rattle, resummon it. Uh, lay hands, restore eight health, draw three cards. I want to assume one of those, one of the top three is another lay hands. That's what I'm assuming. And then we have Uther of the Ebon Blade. It is a hero card. It will replace our hero with uh, Battle Cry. I'm sorry, with this Uther, five armor and Battle Cry, equip a 5 3 life steal weapon. I think this is going to be the first one that has us take advantage of armor. Uh, we don't need 20, we don't need 30 health. We need a total of 30 health and armor. Watch. Calling it now. Okay. Okay, there's a lot going on here. There is a lot going on in this puzzle. Scanning for solutions. Okay, so let's see. If we merge this here and attack, that thing's dead. That thing's dead on the spot. Also, if we don't merge this, whatever, this one's dead on the spot. Playing this is going to deal two damage to both of them, but he's going to die to the second. So we'll heal for four. Okay, uh, let's get to work. If we deal two damage to both of these, they're both sitting at six. They're both sitting at six. Computing. Okay, I think I see where to start. Uh, let's play this clown. So we're going to heal for two. And then heal for two. And now he's dead. Now, if I play Moat Lurker, he's going to kill one of them. We're not taking out our little microbot. He's going to kill one of them, which means he's only going to get attacked by one. And he's going to deal three damage to the other one. And then... The one that we dealt damage to. I'm sorry, the one that we killed is going to come back at full health. I kind of want that. I want staggered deaths here. Uh, we've healed all the way up. I'm sorry, we've, we've, we've got all of our mana back. Excuse me. If I play Ubon, uh, Ebon Bleed. I don't know why I call him Ubon. Uh, we're going to get an amazing weapon, which we can use to attack this one and get all of our mana back again. Let's do that. The light's justice has failed. All right, so we're at we're at five health, five armor. We're gonna attack, heal for five, uh, but take two, so we're gonna heal for four. Fall by my hand. And we'll get all of our mana back again.
Okay. So I guess I can play Lay on Hands, right? On me? That's, that's what, eight health and draw three cards? I'm with it. Two of them. Look at that. <laughs> I said one of them. I said at least one of them is. All three of the top cards were Lay on Hands. Okay, fine. Uh, we need to kill this one. So if we drop Steel Rattler, he's dead. Ooh, we don't need to merge him, though. Let's not merge him. Let's keep our, our cool guy. Actually, yeah. Oh, we can attack. But, I mean, I don't, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Well, we're going we gonna to play it over here. We're not going to merge it. We're going to have him die right now. All of our mana's back. Fourteen. That's enough, isn't it? Holy light and lay on hands. That's enough. Don't tell all all six cards in there were. All six cards in there were enough. Or were lay on hands. Target remains. Wow. Lab access granted. Okay, so we need to get to full health, and this is always going to reduce us to one health. So even still, even still, armor doesn't matter. We need to get the full health. Okay, understood. All right, we got the last challenge of survival left. This episode went on forever. <laughs> this was a long episode. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video gets posted to the channel or whenever we do something special like Dr. Boom's Boom's Day Project Puzzle Lab. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Altplay. We're, at the, we're really at the last challenge within the wings, within the, the main wings. All right. Let's go.